Hello and welcome to this Warhammer 40k battle report with me, Xenovids. Today's battle report is a 2000 point battle between the Tyranids and Grey Knights. So let's see how both armies do. So let's have a look at today's mission. We roll to number 5, which is the Emperor's Will. Each player gets an objective with three points. The deployment type is two, which is Dawn of War. The gaming table looks a little something like this. A few buildings, some ruins, a hill, two barracks, some hedges, a couple of aztec -y scenery. Well spaced out on the board. And looking at the objectives, of course, the Grey Knights one is in the building. There it is. And the Tyranids one is behind the barracks. So let's have a look at the Grey Knights deployment. I put the Nine Paladins with the Grand Master together. The Dread Knight is next to them. The Land Raider and one of the Razorbacks uh, have a good angle of view. Both five-man unit of Grey Knights are in the building, guarding the objective and have a bit of cover. And the final Razorback is on the side, of the other on the other side of the building. So, looking at the Warlord trait, well, once again, I rolled Knight Attacker, so I get to choose if it's Knight Fighting. Tyranny's deployment. He's got the Tervagon with a few Hormagons next to him, and Termagons. The Tyran effects on the hill. A winged hive tyrant with twin link devourers with termagants next to it. A termagon, termagants, and a winged hive tyrant with bone sword and lash whip. Looking at the tyrant's psychic powers, there are quite a few to roll for. So the first termagon, he manages to get warp speed, which is a blessing that enables him to have d3 extra initiative and d3 extra attack. The first wing high tyrant, and he uh, rolls iron arm, which means he gets to add d3 strength and toughness to his d3 strength and toughness, and so does the other Tervagon and winged high tyrant. So the, the Tyranid sees the initiative, so it starts with turn one Tyranid's movement. He starts by moving up, uh, birthing a lot of gaunts. Uh, the second one, unfortunately, rolls double, so he's corked. Uh, a lot of gaunts there on this side. Everything that can move up moves up. He's leaving his Tervagon and gaunts at the back controlling the objective. Clever move. So going to the shooting phase, he fires the Winged Hive Tyrant at my first Razorback. Nearly falls, but he does get re-rolls, and he re-rolls a lot of them, and then needing fives to glance, and he manages to get glance and a pen and a glance. Glance and a pen, and he tries to see two pens and a glance. That's what it is. he's now trying to pot luck at my land raider with a Tranifex, and he fails. Going to turn one Grey Knight's movement. I jetpack my jump monstrous creature with his special ability item that makes him go 30 inches for one turn, and then shuffle everything across so I can get a better view on the Tyranids. So going into the shooting phase, I fire the Flamer and the Large Blast template at the Gaunts. Direct hit, so at the Gaunts, all of them are dead because there's AP4, and most of them have gone through too. And also a couple of hits against the Turbagon, I managed to hit it, and he does roll a 3 to save it, so he's made his armor save. So now I fire at his winged hive tyrant. I'm snap shooting because he is flying at the moment. And I hit, so he has to take a grounded test and he fails his grounded test and takes a wound, which is great. I still need sixes to wound because he has got iron arm on him. And now firing at the other winged hive tyrant, hoping to do the same thing. Fortunately, I don't roll. 
a single six. So now my Razorback tries to take a wound off the Turvagon. I hit. He does the wound. And I do wound. And I don't do anything because he rolls a cover save. So my Grey Knights now shoot at the oncoming horde. And a lot of them go down. So going into turn two, Tyranid movement, the Doom of Manantai and the Trigon Prime both arrive. Which is not good for me. Everything else has moved or and or run on the field. The Wing Type Tyrant has jumped over to help his group in the corner because he doesn't want to lose that objective. So in the shooting phase, the Doom Manatai special ability kicks off, which fails because I passed my leadership on 3d6. He then tries to shoot me, but with his second power, but I deny the witch. He then fires with the Wing Type Tyrant at my paladins. He needs two to wound, and I have two up armor save, and I make every single one of them. Then he tries to take down some mm, wounds off the paladins with his Tarragons. And fails to do anything with that. So he then tries to fight, take down my land raider with the hive guard. but fails to do any of that. Tyrannifex tries to take down the Razorback and he managed to take a whole point off of it, but that's about it. The Trigon Prime fires his shots against the Paladins, trying to whittle down a few of them. He gets a wound, but actually wounds one of them. Which is good news for the Tyranids. So going into turn two, Tyranid Assault. He assaults my Dread Knight with his Wing Type Tyrant, needing twos to wound. And uh, wounds him three times. I tried to hit back. And I now need freeze. And I managed to wound him as well. So. We're both losing a lot of wounds, but they are locked in combat. Going on to turn two, Grey Knight's movement, I move everyone out of the range of the Doom's special ability, and that's really about it for my turn. So going into the shooting phase, I then fire some shots off. Manage to wound a few of his models, and take them down. Now I try to take the Doom and Malantai down with shooting, he does, however, have a free up invulnerable save, so only loses a few wounds. And he's now down to three wounds. I just couldn't do it, wasn't enough. So now the Grey Knights continue firing at that giant wave of gaunts. I managed to take down a lot. Continuing this combat, he manages to take down my Dread Knight in one fell swoop. So turn three, doing its movement. Again, everything moves up. They're coming very close to my uh, line at the moment and it's not looking great for my Great Knights. So going into turn three, shooting phase. Do a Malantai's ability does go off and I lose a model and a wound. So he's got some extra life wounds. So firing a lot what he can at my paladins to try and weaken them because he wants to charge them with his winged hive turret. So now the winged hive turret fires at them. He needs fours. He does get a few rerolls. He needs twos to wound. I have a two up arm save and make every single one of them. So now, firing a large blast with the Doom and Malantai. Need invulnerable saves, and one loses a wound. It's Hive Guard against my Land Raider. And he glasses it. 
Tyrannus flexes out my eraser back in the corner. Misses completely. Going into the assault phase now. It's tri the Trigon Prime assaults the Land Raider. Luckily, he gets to reroll ones because he has Siphon Talons. And he manages to get a pen and a glance. And the penetrating roll is. a free. So it's a mobile. Uh, weapon destroyed. So it's now the turn three Grey Knight's movement. What can move has shuffled across. What can't move has stayed exactly where it is. Turn three Grey Knight shooting. Storm Raven has arrived and he's firing at the Winged Hive Tyrant. He hits with the Las Cannon and hits with the Melter. Neeing falls because he has Iron Arm, which has made him super tough. The Las Cannon hits him, but the Melter doesn't. I'm now firing at the other Winged Hive Tyrant. And managed to wound him. So the Paladins are firing at the Doom Malandai. A good amount of shooting, a good amount of wounds. And he has a free up invulnerable save. And he goes down. Goodbye, Doom of Malandai. Fire a pot shot at the Turvagon. I do manage to wound it. And he takes a wound. Finally. And the Grey Knights in the building are firing at the Gaunts once again and taking down a good number of them again. So they're going to do an overview of turn 4 because we are coming towards the end of the game now. He's moved up everything he has left that can advance. The Trigon has moved close to the Land Raider and both Winged Hive Tyrants look like they're about to pounce on the Paladins. So we try and just to fire some pot shots to weaken the paladins, ready for that assault. But I make my armor saves. And just to show there's only a, there's a lot of paladins with one wound each. Firing some pot shots at the men in the building. And my grey knights are fine. Turbogon is also firing at the Razorback. He hits and does not manage to hurt it. The Hive Guard fire at the Grey Knights at the bottom of the building, holding the objective. Managed to get a few hits, a couple of wounds, and I fail one. Fires the Rupture Cannon from the Tyrannifex at the Razorback. Needing a one to glance, he penetrates it, so it is gone. Does he manage to explode? No. So, oh, he's down to one hole point, sorry. Which is good for me. Now firing at the last of his shots. The assault phase begins. He declares a challenge and I fail an invulnerable save, so he's instant killed. My Grandmaster Warlord goes down. And now another Hive Tyrant is attacking the Paladins. And now they're attacking back with demon weapons, which essentially work like thunder hammers. So, of course, he goes down. The Razorback now has shuffled, hasn't moved. The Land Raider has been destroyed. The Terminator's Oh, the Land Raider's still there. The Terminators have come out of it and advanced towards the Trigon Prime. The Storm Raven takes a pot shot at the Turvagon in the corner. Another wound coming off the Turvagon there. The Grey Knight's trying to fight down the Turvagon. But I'm realising now that if I can take down the Turvagon, it's a chance of all those little Turvagons that are around him can explode. So now I'm going against... My Terminators are going up to the T Trigon Prime, trying to whack it. Um, uh, one of them dies. 
but I get to attack back. I pass my leadership test for my force weapon, it activates, and I instantly kill the Trigon Prime. And the Paladins are fighting the Winged Eye Tyrant, and just like the last round of combat, the Winged Eye Tyrant goes down. Bye! So looking at turn 5 overview, his models have advanced a little bit and he's tried to assault. Everything is tried to shoot and assault that he can quickly at my terminators. The terminators are fine. One lot of gaunts have been destroyed. My terminators have lost one. They've moved up. The land raiders moved around. The storm raven has come over. Everything has moved around to try and take down this turbagon. So I fire a lot of high shots with the Melter and the Laz Cannon and I fail with everything. I fire with the Land Raider. And my Terminators. And my Grey Knights in the building. And the Paladins also fire at it with all these combined efforts of shooting he makes a lot of armor saves and by the end of the game he does manage to go down but it is five points to the Grey Knights and five points to the Tyranids the Grey Knights get five, the Tyranids get five there we have it then it's a draw the Grey Knights haven't lost again um, and they've managed to draw against the Tyranids so, counting up the points, uh, the Grey Knights had their objective, the Tyranids had theirs, Tyranids got Warlord, Grey Knights killed the Warlord, Tyranids had First Blood, and Grey Knights had Linebreaker. So a very close game, it was a lot of fun. We both thought the Tyranids would annihilate the Grey Knights, but due to the mission, it was a draw. It was great. Great fun. I enjoyed playing Grey Knights for once. Um, I can't wait for the new Tyranids update. They might be a little bit more challenging. But if you have any suggestions on how this game could have been changed, lists for Tyranids, lists for Grey Knights that are good against the other army, please leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.